Hello everyone, it's Girl in Minecraft. Welcome to some more of my Create Stellar Mod Pack playthrough. So, uh, as you can see, my shaders are back on. I had them turned off for a while, but I have turned them back on because it just looks so beautiful. Look at those little, look at those adorable clouds. Aren't they so chunky? So, we're gonna be working on bronze stuff in this part, I think. Um, that was my goal. Uh, let's put away those leads. Also, sticks. There we go. Um, also, let me change my GUI. See how this looks. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, anyways, I wanted to make it a little bit bigger for y'all to be able to see because my monitor is kind of big, so it makes my GUI very small when it's on auto. <laughs> But uh, anyways, so yeah, we've got our lovely barn and stuff that we built last time. And this time I plan to uh, do some bronze setup. I probably won't do the lava just yet because I want to place my I want to place my bronze setup first. And then I'll figure out where I want my lava to go and uh, like where I'll need the sources and stuff. I also plan to do a part where I move all my storage and my machines and everything into somewhere. I probably move like my machines into a warehouse area and then uh, my chests and storage and my kitchen and everything inside my house. Also need to make a place for enchanting because I don't have a place for that just yet. But uh, yeah, we're starting to come together. I also still need to get my uh, my castle over there. <laughs> my castle, I say it like I already live there, but yeah. That castle is going to be defeated eventually. Um, I did take a peek at it one time off camera and it's just uh, it's just pillagers. So it's not going to be like crazy difficult or anything, but it is definitely still uh, going to be a challenge. <laughs> so let's see. Um, so I have, let me pull up my, my little guide here that I have. Uh, cause I have written down all the stuff that I need to like do my build plan. Here it is. Okay. Oh, and I have also, did I already make some of this stuff? Hold on. Oh yeah. So I was making some of the machines. I don't think I showed this on camera. But I made a bunch of stuff. I started to make the things I would need for, um, like, the lava extraction. And, um, I didn't build, I didn't build tanks yet. Yeah. Um, tank? Yeah, so I still needed to build a whole bunch of these, which is a lot of crafting, because... Not only do I need sheets, but I need mechanisms, which are made with other mechanisms. So it's a lot of like craft stacking. Uh, I think I was working on some of those. Um, okay, I don't know how much more I needed. The lighting's a little weird. When I move, it's kind of doing that thing, and that's a bit annoying. Okay, um, I'll, I don't know, I might turn the shaders back off just because that's kind of annoying. Or, I don't know, maybe I just need to change my settings. I don't play with shaders enough to know, like, a lot. Um, I just have to mess around with settings to figure it out. But, if that gets annoying, then I might try to fix it. Um, oh, yeah. Plants are in here. Oh, don't have any space. Okay, we'll do that. So we have a composter or something around here? I thought I did. Um, maybe it's... Did I just put it somewhere? Huh, uh, maybe it's in here. Composter, here it is. Alright, just get that composted. Oh, I guess leather can go in here too. Okay, just got rid of that random stuff out of my inventory. Uh, looks like I still had some cogs in my inventory. So, I need to figure out what all I need to start my bronze setup. Oh wait, I did make fluid tanks. They're in my inventory. And I have some other stuff. Uh, okay, so I might have finished. Ooh. 
Or not my inventory, sorry, they're in the chest. <laughs> I might have finished that actually. Okay. Um, so for brass, let me just check my list here. And needed a mixer. Yep. We have a mixer. A press. Four basins. Okay, four basins. Two basin foundry lids. There they are. Uh six mechanical pumps. There they are. Smart fluid pipe, yep. Uh, five funnels, got it. Uh, three to four chests, of course. And three blaze burners, yep, three belts. Uh, a bucket of brass and a, a brass ingot. Those are for the filters later. Um, the filter, the last basin. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then various fluid pipes. Uh, we've got... Did I make fluid pipes for this? I don't see any. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see about fluid pipes. I know I have a bunch in here that I reserved for that. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use them. Them just so that uh, I don't end up making too many. And I can make more if I need them for the, the lava. Uh, let's see. Large and small cogs. I made some of those. Yep. And uh, shafts and gearboxes. Looks like I made some gearboxes and some vertical gearboxes. So it might be good to start setting up. Um, I gotta forget where I want this though. That's the only thing. Let me check something really quick. Okay. I adjusted a bunch of shader settings. It actually looks a little bit too bright. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let's see. Oh shoot, I forgot where it was. Was it... yeah, I think Vibrance was the one. It do be bright. Okay, um, no, I think that's better. I lowered like a bunch of the shadow and lighting settings and stuff. Also, that weird shadow wall is gone now, so that is excellent, but it do be very bright. My gosh. Oops, um, maybe if I change my. Uh, where is brightness? Here it is. That a little better. Uh, I can't really tell a very big difference. Well, that's okay. I'm not honestly not mad. So, oh yeah. So we were doing uh, <laughs> we were doing bronze or brass uh, brass setup. So I am gonna need. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I need more power, but I might make another power windmill, another windmill power source, just so I can not have to like move a bunch of cogs across. 50 blocks for my brass setup uh, but I think I'm gonna do it over here and I'll make it kind of go this direction so because that'll be kind of the same direction as my whole build is going so far um anyways so yeah probably over here somewhere which means I'm probably gonna go ahead and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out the floor area did I have those in my inventory? There they are. Okay. I definitely am going to need more of this. What is this? Cobbled deep slate. Okay. For first, this shovel is so OP. Oh my gosh. I can't even, like, can't even, oh, there we go. I can pick up snow. Jeez. I was, like, trying to pick up the snow. <gasps> it must have silk touch. Hold on. Yeah, it has silk touch. <laughs> I'm getting blocks of snow. Alright. Awkward. Oop. I have to be very careful where I hit with this thing because it is so fast. Um, I think I'll just break from this block. Put these back for now. I'm going to start here and move over here. Uh, oh, I also have to get my screenshots back up. I didn't do that yet for some reason. Didn't think of it. But I'm gonna need those screenshots that I took of my brass build. Showed you guys in the other video. And 
that's my design pretty much that I'm gonna use. Okay, just clean this up. All right, I'm gonna go sleep really quick and I'll be right back. So, pulled up my screenshot while I was going to sleep and I measured, or I counted, I guess, I counted the blocks. It's 16 blocks in length. So let's count. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to need a few more blocks. So let's see. 13, 14. Oops. 15, 16. Okay. So that'll be the length of the build. So I'll just extend this area a little bit. And... That'll be more than enough space <laughs> um, as far as like how far it is. Jeez, my reach is insane. <laughs> it's because of my FOV, I think. Um, once I get like this build set up, it's probably one of my bigger builds like at the moment. I don't have any plans for like any big machines in the near future at least. Uh, probably my biggest like machine I have planned is going to be eventually building a mining quarry. So. That's going to be huge, uh, but that's for later. So I'd like to get some automatic mining going. Once we get brass, we'll be able to build all kinds of really cool stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in this area and I'll be back with you guys then. I'll probably speed this up. And I ran out of blocks already. All right, I'm going to make some more and I'll get back to this in a second. Alright, I made a bunch of cobbled deep slate with stripes, so let me just get back to working on this. Okay, that should give us enough room for the brass setup, allowing a little space, uh, like extra space, so if I end up with extra space then um, I can build like my crafter and other stuff here. So that's gonna be fun. Let me just place all that snow. <laughs> okay. We got a little bit of snow in there too. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch this out. Yeah. Got some more plates. Sweet. Uh, and I'll pop these in here because I don't need any more right now. So let's get my machines. Uh, gearboxes, we're gonna need those. Basha, we're gonna need those. Move my bow out of the way. And let's see, what else? What, I, what else do I need right off? Oh, uh, let's bring some casing. I'll uh, bring the chain drives. Gonna need a bunch of these. I don't think. I don't think I need this hand crank for anything. I don't think that was on my list. <laughs> uh, chess, obviously. Um, these, this. I think that was everything. Uh, I'll come back and grab anything else that I might need. How's my food doing? I'm doing okay on food. Okay. All right. So let me just start. Setting this up, I'm just referencing my my uh, screenshot here. So I have a lot of my machines going this way to this side, so maybe I'll start it this direction then. So it's running the same way. Okay, let's do this. And then it's one block apart. Chess, so one, two. Then I have funnels and I have shafts. I think I did these just like as small as I could. Well, I guess I could probably do it smaller. I could probably do it like this. Um, I'll just go ahead and keep my design though. So let's do that. Bam. Okay, so then I have funnels. I'm glad I don't have to shift click those. <laughs> okay, and then next I have 
Blaze burners. Those will be uh, powered through pipes. I'll give them straws and stuff, so I do need straws. What do I need to make straws? Um, oh, bamboo through a rolling mill. Well, we have those. Oops. Let me do, do that real quick, because I do have an automated rolling mill. I never really get to use it. So this is kind of fun. <laughs> uh, I should have plenty of bamboo. I'll just make a few. So I'm sure I'm going to need automated uh, of these guys later. Should get straws. Yep, that looks like a straw. Awesome. Now we have some dirt too. Perfect. All right. Bam, bam. We'll give you a straw and you a straw. <laughs> now they're sipping. Oh, wait. What? I gave them straws, but it didn't consume the ones that I made. Oh, well. I guess I didn't need to make a bunch then. Oh, it's all right. Uh, it was just bamboo. Okay, so then above those, I have basins, basin, and basin. It's actually not going to output that side, so that's going to be changed. Okay, and then I'm going to need lids on these. Okay, so then pumps. All right, pumps, and I'm probably going to need this. Going to need the wrench, yeah. All right, so let's get no. <laughs> no filter. Okay, bam, bam. These are facing the wrong direction, of course. So let's fl flip them around. Perfect. Okay. So now, oh yeah, pipes. I almost forgot my pipes. Give me my pipes. I need you. Don't really need, like, hardly any pipes for this build. Uh, let's see. One, two. That should be plenty. And then I'm going to place another basin, it looks like. Just zoom in. Yeah, okay. Yep, okay, so a basin. And this one's also powered. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. So, bam. Let's give you a straw as well. Okay, so that's this is the this is the two two metals, uh, zinc and copper going in here and here, and then getting melted together into here. This makes this mixes it into brass, and then this is gonna take it over and make brass ingots. So next, we're gonna need. This and this. All right, so mechanical pump. Just flip you around. And then this. And this we're going to filter to make specifically bra brass coming out of here because otherwise it will uh, start outputting pretty much any fluid. So then let's get the last basin. It's going to go right here. It's going to output over here. So I'm going to need one. To buckle my shoe. Let's get this. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna put a double chest on the end, so we have plenty of room. Because automating ends up moving stuff pretty quickly. Let's just get a belt on here. All right, that's automatically outputting. Perfect. So now we just put a funnel here to funnel it into the chest. And yeah, that's. The bottom of this setup. <laughs> so now we gotta do the top and we gotta power all of these, all of this, gotta power these, hello? Gotta power these belts. Why are you screaming? Anyways, freaking foxes are screaming. Um, let me sleep really quick. 
I'll get moving on the upper parts because now we're going to need to add the mixer, the press, um, and then I got to figure out how I want to power all of these machines because it's going to be a lot. My uh, test build was a huge mess, so I'm probably going to learn a lot about chain drives and stuff <laughs> to hopefully get all my power underneath and only certain machines coming up through here that are necessary, um, that are just like, you know, completely necessary for getting this operating. So let's get these up here. All right, so we're gonna need a press on this one and then a mixer on this one. Yep, all right. And these all have to be powered, so. Um, actually, can I move this to face the other direction? That might be better. Yeah, that's better. Because if I'm going to have my power, like, say, my power comes from this side, mainly. That way I can operate on this side with less, like, hindrance. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Honestly, I probably could have made this, like, slightly lower into the ground, too. That way all this is, like, hidden. And I can see like what's going on and stuff a little easier because right now I could totally do like this. Oops. Oh my god. Yeah. And like have like a, almost like a, a, a boardwalk <laughs> to watch like the machines do their thing because i like looking in the mixers and stuff seeing what's happening it's kind of fun um yeah so this is basically my design that i came up with um it's basically as compacted as i could get it with my basic knowledge that i have of how everything works here so all right so now now comes the fun part so we're gonna need shafts we're gonna need these all the things okay now i gotta figure out how i want to power all this so obviously we're gonna need a cog wheel here we're gonna need a shaft here so this is going to be some kind of cog wheel moving like that so this is where i could probably place a chain drive actually did i bring i did i did bring some okay i need to make more of these as well because i don't have very many so this would make a chain drive, which is a bit more clean of a, like, a way to power things. So I could do a couple more of those. So let me make a bunch of chain drives and I'll be right back. Okay. So I made some more chain drives. All right. Let's see. Oh, and I can group this in, get this moving. That's perfect. Oh. Why am I flashing? Is it because the night vision is kicking in? Okay, that was... Yeah, that was weird. Okay, anyways. Um... So, hello? <laughs> Bamboo jungle, ancient mines... Ooh, Totems of Undying is kind of cool. Do I have any emeralds on hand? I don't even know. I have a few. Get a get a few Totems of Undying for funsies. I feel like I'm pretty strong, but hey, you know, I can always get stronger. Come here, come here, come here. But for 10 emeralds? That's like a steal. Oh, you're only going to sell me one. What a ripoff. Fine. I'll let you live this time. Anyways. <laughs> Is there somebody over here? Hello? Clink, clink? I don't even know. I hear bones, but I don't see nobody. Who goes there? Okay. Is that what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was building this. Um, okay, so cog for that. 
I want to do these. No, not like that. I want these to go underneath. Can I connect? This is silk touch. Okay. I... I'm going to go place some cogs underneath. Like that. There we go. We could almost... Mm, no, we can't do a chain drive with this because that won't work. Yeah, because it needs to be adjacent. Although, I could do chain drives. This is a bit crowded in here, but I could try and do one here. Oh, that worked. Okay. Excellent. Then, can I do one here? Can I rotate you? Um, I just want to rotate it. Oops. If I just do like that, and then I should be able to place one here. There we go. That'll connect those two. Okay, okay. We got some movement. Um, okay, so we need to power these. Let me just connect those together. And then I can do something over here, I think. So, or we can even do... Y'all need to move. <laughs> Okay, so now I just need to power this, that, and this belt, or these both these belts, I guess. And they need to go this direction. Same with that one. So I gotta make sure everything's going the correct direction, too. Um, actually, okay, I'm gonna take that off for now, just in case, because I don't know which direction I'm going yet with this. So let's see here. Can I get... So if I move... No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I think this is where gearboxes are going to help me. So let's get my gearboxes. I'm going to need vertical. Let's go like that. And then that. And then... Oh, actually, this would be perfect for chain drives. So... Bam. Bam. Okay, so that connects those. So that'll power that. Doesn't matter which direction this goes, it just needs to spin. Same with that. So the only thing that really matters directionally are these belts. Um, technically I could do this. Actually, I wonder if... I wonder if I could do it underneath. Can I connect them like this? Oh, that's the wrong direction. Uh, okay, they don't seem to connect. So we're gonna have to figure something else out for that one, I think. Okay. Oh, and this isn't even connected. So we'll probably just do like a shaft or something. So then if I do bam bam and that and I gotta turn so I gotta rotate th this Papa Cat Papa Cassie the Funky. Oh my gosh, the names. Okay, so this is comes out here. So I could do a gearbox here. I think that connects, yeah. And then we have a connection here. So if I do a chain drive across here, does this connect all of these? Should connect all of these, right? So this is all connected now. So then I just need to power this chain drive and that should power all of these machines. And yeah. Okay. Okay. So probably not the prettiest and I only have to do a wall that's a few, a couple blocks thick to cover this up. 
So I feel like I've done pretty well for somebody who has very little knowledge of this mod pack or of this mod uh, create to be specific. Let me sleep. And then I'm going to sort out my power source. So I'll probably just do another windmill. And then all we'll need to do after this is get our unlim unlimited lava source going through via nether. So um, I really want to like place another just another portal over here and like suck it from there. But I'm concerned that I'm going to mess up my nether portal over here. And I don't want to, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I'm thinking about it, <laughs> just so I don't have to pipe as far. But it's not really a huge deal. Anyways, so that's the back of my bra- that's all my, like, power mechanisms set up. So now, if I did everything right, also I need to make sure it's the right direction. If I did everything right, then this should just all be powered. And then we can start making bra brass right away. So I'll probably do some test brass. Um, and then, obviously, we'll filter this and this. And once that's done, we'll be able to automate. And then all we'll need is the infinite lava. So yeah, I'm going to do my power source. I'll probably just do that off camera. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me in this setup. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, so I got this brass machine going. Pretty much, I put a... Uh, copper in this chest. I put zinc in this chest, just in the raw forms. I've used coal to power my uh, blaze burners. Just power these a little bit more. Anyway, so they're both pumping into the molten forms. They're pumping into here. And as you can see, we got zinc and copper and it is mixing it into brass, pumping through here. Uh, I did go into creative mode to grab a bucket of brass and a brass ingot to filter these because otherwise it just filters through any liquid and items so to specifically pump brass in here and uh yeah now uh, it's just making brass ingots so now you have brass ingots yep and yeah as you can see i had some copper come through but we're good to go now so we've got brass automated now I just need to power these blaze burners uh, using lava. I'm just gonna make an infinite lava source coming through the nether, and that'll be that'll be the next project. So <laughs> pretty stoked about this. Uh, and once we get that going, we'll be able to power all of our blaze burners too. So I'll probably just hook all these blaze burners up to my lava source once I'm done with that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> There's our automated brass.